pleasant good afternoon to everyone so welcome to my channel aka in bible channel so at this moment uh there were many people struggling in loneliness uh during the pandemic situations uh we heard some people struggle with anxiety and depression and loneliness and even suicidal thoughts uh loneliness one of the battle of the mind uh i call it this a mental disturbance so my message this afternoon is conquering our loneliness so always remember that loneliness is a battle uh, every person so how could we conquer our loneliness so first of all conquering our loneliness to the mind of christ in Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 mentioned it was mentioned there that let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus meaning to say let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus we need to be saturated with the Bible you no know? so we need to encourage the Bible new we encourage uh, to read uh, Psalms Proverbs the Gospel the Old Testament because the focus on the Old and the New Testament, the center there is always the Lord Jesus Christ. So again, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It means we are dwelling with the guidance and with the confidence and empowering the teaching of the Holy Spirit that we have to be saturated with the Word of God. Uh, secondly, in order not uh, not to be lonely or conquering our loneliness is not as not forsaking the assembly so as believers we are encouraged to attend the local church assembly and fellowship the greek word for fellowship is koinonia yes we enjoy the fellowship with our fellow brethren brother and sisters in the church uh, by faith by the grace of god but we have to remember that the focus of koinonia the greek word for fellowship is always the lord jesus christ it means uh, it is not it is not with us the focus is always the lord jesus christ thirdly uh, conquering our loneliness to the confidence of the lord jesus christ the bible says in philippians chapter 2 verse uh, rather philippians chapter 4 verse 13 mentioned uh, it was mentioned that uh, I can do all things to Christ which strengthened me. In other version, I can do all things to Christ who strengthened me in the in New King James Version. But in King James Version, it mentioned, I can do all things to Christ who strengthened me. In other words, our dreams, our, mis our vision, no? according to God's will, we can do it uh, through Christ because we are guided and teach it, uh, guided and uh, will be teach, uh, teach and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Greek word for Holy Spirit is parakletos, mean comporter. So the comporter, the Holy Spirit will teach us uh, everything. The Holy Spirit also give us the power in the guidance, give us the power by the grace of God. The Greek word for power there is dunamis. The Bible says. For God has not given a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and sound mind. So, always remember, by the grace of God, we are saved uh, by faith, because uh, the Holy Spirit guides us, empowers us, teaches, teaches us to do the right thing. So, again, I'd like to mention that the, there are three things. There were three things that I mentioned that conquering our loneliness. Number one is the mind of Christ, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, not forsaking the assembly, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 to 25, and our confidence in Christ, uh, it means mentioned in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. However, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal uh, Lord and Savior, allow me to state a prayer for you to, uh, this afternoon. God, I cannot save myself. Jesus Christ, I will accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, you died for me in the cross. Thank you for the gift of eternal life.
forgive my sins, O God. All these things I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So if you mention that prayer sincerely from your mind, your heart, your soul will go to heaven. So I'm looking forward to share, teach and teach the gospel on, on my YouTube channel. And uh, allow me to say, uh, may God bless what are you doing today and may God glorify it on your uh, all endeavors. A pleasant good afternoon and again, God bless everyone.